Yeah, sure. If you can tell us a little bit what Hacker School is for people who don't know what it is. And, yeah. and I guess I'm, I'm curious, once you explain it, maybe uh, we can get a little into the unschooling and, and whether or not Hacker School sort of represents a continuation of the unschooling philosophy. Absolutely. Uh, so Hacker School is a retreat for programmers. So it's a full-time, in-person program here in New York City where people come from across the country and around the world to spend three months focused on writing software and becoming better programmers. Um, and people come in from a really wide range of backgrounds. Everything from people who are three or six months into learning their first programming language to people who have been programming professionally for 20 years and everything in between. But people are united by the fact that they're smart, friendly, intellectually curious people who enjoy programming and want to get dramatically better regardless of, of how far along they already are on their path um, learning to code. Um, and I guess the, the first thing to know about Hacker School really is that the name itself is quite a misnomer. Um, it's not a school in any traditional sense of the term. Um, we use the analogy that it's like a retreat for programmers um, in that it's a very unstructured environment. Um, and it is in many ways kind of a, a continuation of the unschooling philosophy in that kind of our core principles start with the idea that people learn best and learn the most when they have the freedom to explore their passions and interests. Um, so since we don't have any sort of curriculum um, people come in, everything's very project-based, um, and we don't have um, formal teachers. We have um, facilitators, for instance, parents are facilitator at Hacker School. Um, and facilitators are full-time Hacker School employees who are there to help people get the most they can out of Hacker School, whether that is helping people brainstorm project ideas to figure out, given what it is they want to learn um, and what they're interested in, what's a good project to, to help them get there, to doing code reviews, to pair programming, to of acting as an air traffic controller and directing people towards other folks in the batch. Um, but the facilitators aren't traditionally in the kind of uh, teaching role, and they're not developing curriculum, they're not you know, lecturing um, every day, things like that. OK, great. Well, so uh, do you see this as, as being related to the unschooling, or is, or is this you know, to some extent modeled on the unschooling model, do you think, or um, is, is it different? So I think the kind of core philosophical tenets are very much connected to unschooling in that so very much we're self-directed um, and we really care about intrinsic motivation. Um, so for instance, we don't grant degrees or certificates or anything like that. Um, and that's a very uh, explicit decision in that we don't want people to come to hacker school because of some proxy. Um, we want people to come because they care about learning and they want to get better, not because they want accreditation or a degree or, or something else like that. Um, similarly, we don't have uh, you know, grades or things like that because, again, those are things that become proxies where people see um, and maybe uh, aren't focused on what the underlying goal really is, which is um, the education. Um, so it's kind of very philosophically uh, in line with unschooling. Um, absolutely.